Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing a tier list on all the secret cars that you can get from the gift box in Drive Ahead. First in the F tier is the Mantis Cloud Shrimp. I don't really know the names of these cars, by the way. I'm just going to guess the names, and yeah, I'm going to do a really bad job of it. But yeah, obviously really bad protection. It speeds alright, though. Next in the F tier is the Dog Sled with like one or two dogs in the Dog Sled. Um, this is just like a huge nerf to the dog sled and yeah, it just makes it really bad one dog in the dog sled is like really really bad But two is all right. It's manageable next up is the flying UFO Obviously, um, if you didn't know it just flies upwards all the time. I don't know how to stop it Okay, I'm really bad with um, flying car controls. So I have no idea How to control this thing, but yeah, um, it's only good for open maps and king of the hill if you want to camp other than that it's completely trash next up is the ice shrimp carrier quote unquote i don't know the name obviously but yeah it's basically a rift cloud shrimp with some extra ice back protection also it has a special ability of breaking through the fourth wall and somehow carrying the ice along to the next match next up is the midget t-rex that's right you can get this from a gift box and yeah it's uh its movement is really flimsy head's really exposed it does have a really cool gun though. The last car in the F tier is the biplane. Um, yeah, this car is a complete disgrace. We all saw leaks of this car in a gorilla map in Hot Wheels 2018. We believe that this car could be the first actual flying vehicle in Drive Ahead, but we were really, really wrong, as you can see. <laughs> Next tier is the D tier, and in the D tier we have the Rift Annihilator. I think that's the name of this car. And yeah, it has really good back protection, but its front protection is lacking, though it has a giant phase ball of death to um, compensate for that, but that takes a while to charge, so that's another flaw. Next up is the Rift Cloud. This one's way better than the UFO. First of all, you can kind of control it. It also has way more, um, I guess, area to attack opponents pretty easily. Also, its head is kind of more like enclosed. Next up is the Doom Raptor. It's basically a Doom bot with more Raptor, with a more Raptor-like body. Um, yeah, I think it's faster than a Doom bot and more stable, which is good. But again, it's a Doom bot, and Doom bots are very chaotic and hard to um, control. Last in the D tier is the Flying Bat Eye, and as red, you can actually, um, not manually aim, but you can get some kind of auto aim with the lasers, which is pretty good. Next up is a C tier, and in the C tier, we have the Rift Pew Pew Cloud. I have no idea what the name is, but that's what I'm going to call it. Again, as red, you have, um, you have that projectile, which is really OP. Um, its front is weak, but again, compensates with that awesome ability. Last in the C tier is the Spider Yeater. I know, really creative name. But yeah, what it does is it just eats opponents in the air. Really bad ability since it has um, really exposed head and a really good height advantage that's being wasted. The next tier is the B tier, and the first car we have is the Mega Laser Bot. And this car is really, really slow, but as red, you get some extra perks, including um, more than one HP, which is crazy already. Also, some really epic lasers. Next up is the Ankylosaurus. This car is actually really good. First of all, it has some really OP wheels, which can make it go really fast. It also has really good back protection, and front protection can easily be fixed with a wheelie. The next tier is the A tier, and the first car we have is the giant steel crab you guys already know this car is in the missions you know first of all really really good protection super annoying it has four wheels yeah it's just really good next up is the dog sled with five to seven dogs really op you get some really really good protection yeah you can survive from basically anything next up is the mega go-kart first of all this is like one of the fastest giant cars like it's really freaking big but it's still really fast though its head is exposed and it has a ramp to its head it's still really really good next up is the giant rocket sleigh it doesn't have the ability but that's all right it's a freaking giant rocket sleigh its front protection is insane 
combined with the boosters, it can literally fly. Next up is the beast monster. It's basically a beast with monster wheels. And yeah, the beast already has a crazy engine. This just makes it a lot better. Just as a quick note, the beast isn't really that good at all, but the monster wheels just make it so much better because the original wheels of the beast are just really, really bad. The final tier is the S tier. In the S tier, we have the soccer ball car. And yeah, obviously, you can't kill it without using saws or um, ghost dragon fire, anything that can phase through any car. You gotta use that. Basically, this car is invincible, and yeah, that's why it's in the S tier. Next in the S tier is Krampus, and specifically Red Krampus because Red always gets like special perks sometimes because Red is also the bot color, I guess. You get a shield after you get hit in the head once, and you basically have that shield for the entire game, and you can't die to anything. Not even water, saws, you're basically invincible. Next up is the Mega Robo Penguin, and yeah, as you can see, first of all, it has a crazy height advantage. Also, it's extremely heavy and basically can't be pushed off. Also, it has a crazy giant saw. Also, as red, you get a special perk where you go through certain phases before you actually die. That makes it even better. I think the phases are that you start like cracking a bit and after you crack, you just turn into a head and that head just fires lasers like everywhere. It's so crazy. It's like a crazy boss battle and I love it. The last car in the S tier is the Mega Monster Truck. Just imagine one of the best cars in the game turning into a Mega car. It's surprisingly not that fast, but it does have a really good high advantage. Also, its production is really, really good. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and like this video. See you guys later. Bye.